Hey folks, this is uh, Southern Pioneer 1965 and uh, just wanted to make a video here. I've made one in a, quite a while, or I haven't posted one in quite a while. I've got a ton of them that I've, I've made. But um, I wanted to uh, give you guys an update on uh, my experiment here with solar and uh, kind of give you an overview of this. I've had a lot of people ask me questions about this and, and unfortunately I've, I've been unable to get uh, get back with all your questions because of the way YouTube is laid out. It's really a uh, kind of a pain. It doesn't always show you that you've got a new message uh, on one of your videos or something so it just seems like I'm just not in, interested in getting back with anybody and that's just not the case. Um, so I'm going to try to make a video here that answers a few questions uh, like price of this and what the capabilities are and, uh, and, and how it's set up. Um, okay, well, first of all, understand that I'm experimenting with this. I'm, I'm not an expert by any means. <laughs> I've learned uh, this stuff uh, off of YouTube, basically, from other, other people and asking questions, reading a little bit, and uh, just trying to teach myself as much as I could. But And I'm not an expert. I don't, uh, there's mistakes I'm going to make, so I don't want you guys to, you know, if, if, if I mess up, forgive me, <laughs> please. Anyway, um, I'll start with the panels outside. Uh, I've got the same panels as I, ha as I had before, which are, uh, there are two 185 watt panels. Um, and those things are, I think, somewhere around 36 volts a piece. Um, and uh, so I've got around three, 360 watts uh, coming into this. And um, the way I've got them wired, I've got them wired in series. And they produce 14 amps, approximately, and um, 84 volts. That enables me to use a smaller wire. So it's not a, if it was a 12 volt panel, I'd have to use giant wires. But um, I'm, I'm going to upgrade. I'm going to uh, go with a larger wire right now. I've got number 12 wire coming in from those panels. And I'm going to upgrade to a 6 as soon as I get the cash. Um, so basically, uh, I've got, I'll start here. I've got Square D box. And this is probably. Oh, this, this is a part I've been questioning lately is the breaker. It's a 15 amp breaker and um, I'm dealing with 14 amps. It is an AC breaker. Uh, I just got it at Lowe's and uh, I've heard lately that I'm supposed to be using a DC breaker. So I'd recommend uh, you guys if, you, if you're doing this to, to make sure you get a DC breaker. I'm going to go ahead. It's been running for over a year with this breaker and no, no problems at all. Uh, I am going to replace it with a DC breaker. Um, so enough said. Comes in here and it goes into my charge controller. controller. Um, now this is a, this is made by BZ Products and it is American made. It, it, uh, it is a MPPT 500 and uh, again it's an MPPT model which is PowerPoint tracking and what that means is it's uh, it's the highest technology in, in solar controllers that I know of and um, it enables you to run at panels of different voltages and so you can run a 12 volt panel with a 24 with a 48 and all kinds of crazy uh, configurations and what it does is it just it, it t untangles all that and and, and uh, makes sense of it and then boosts it. So it has a boosting uh, technology in it that will give you uh, more power. It'll make more power than your panels are producing somehow. Uh, and it, 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 it works, uh, works well. I had issues with it before, but I think it's the way I had my panels wired. But it seems to be working really good now. And I've got another one here that um, in a box there that's going to be installed as well when I start my second array. Um, this handles 500 watts and it will ha handle 100 volts so uh, it's pretty cool it charges at 48 volts up to 48 volts so uh, I think I paid 
it's like it was two or three hundred dollars or something like that. But I would recommend uh, taking a look at this stuff. Um, they're a little cheaper, quite a bit cheaper than some of the other MPPT units. And if you're going to use a small, you're going to buy a small system like this, uh, put one together. Uh, you, you know, you don't want to spend a fortune on a charge controller. Some of the Outbacks, I'd love to have one, but you're going to spend six, seven, eight hundred dollars for one of those things. And I, I do intend on getting one eventually. Uh, but this is about learning for me. So I'm trying to make it as economical as I can. So anyway, the power comes into this, obviously, and then uh, straight out of the, the unit right into the battery bank. And I use uh, Trojan T105 six-volt batteries, and I have them wired at 12 volts. Uh, I've got six of them for a total of 675 amp hours. Uh, I would highly recommend this battery. It's a workhorse. Um, it's probably the, really the best battery, I think, to use for a small solar system without spending a fortune. Um, and the prices are these on these are going up as well as with everything else. Um, I bought, I think the price has gone up probably at least 15%. Uh, I just bought uh, the, two of these batteries uh, just the other day, and um, gosh, I think I spent an, an extra thirty dollars or something. And even the the core charge has gone up on them, which is ridiculous. Uh, but it's a really good battery. Um, they say it's the best golf cart battery made. You know, I don't know whoever they are, but um, I took somebody's advice. So uh, we go out of here. I use uh, number two wire into a 400 amp DC fuse, and I got that from a seller company. I priced that at I think Granger, and they wanted like $500 for one of those, and I, I just I told them where they could stuff, shove it. So I went ahead and, and called uh, I think it was Arizona Wind and Solar, I believe. Uh, don't quote me on that. I'm not sure, but anyway, it cost me $60, $70 for that. Um, and again, we're using uh, number two. This is actually weld wire, which is used for these. It's a, it's a number two as well. Uh, into this cheap uh, inverter. Um, again, this is a, a, a test system, and I think I spent $130, $150 on that. And the reason why I bought the Power Bright instead of another cheap inverter for the same price is the power, uh, what I wanted to do. I wanted to run appliances or a appliance, an appliance. And the PowerBright had special technology designed specifically, specifically to run appliances. Excuse me. And um, so I, I went ahead and, and got it, and it's worked very, very well. Um, it, it doesn't even get hot. I've, I've had other videos about this thing, and it's just, it just runs, you know. And it, it runs all the time, 24-7, has for a year, and it's never even gotten warm. Um, and they say these things that without the big transformers in them, they won't run for a long period of time. Maybe this is going to die in two weeks, I don't know. But it seems to be that it's pretty stable. So I don't know. Uh, it's good. I'd like to have a few more of them, actually. Um, so I just use uh, that inverter and uh, power this freezer. Uh, that is a five cubic foot freezer. It pulls, what was the amperage on that? I think it was like one and a half amps. I don't know if you can see this. If I can see this. I'm blinding you now. It says um, 1.3 amps. But on my meter up here, when it's on, it's like 1.5. Uh, and it, I run it on a timer. That's pretty, pretty much how I basically do this to save my amp hours. Um, I'll run the freezer, as you can see, uh, depending on what year it is, what time of year it is. And I live in South Florida, and uh, during the summertime, we get a lot of sun, and uh, a, lot of, a lot of sun, but it gets hot. So we have to run the free, 